Good afternoon there, uh, YouTube users. This is Colin Beaton Cat from TFDI Design with you. Since I got a few free minutes, I figured I would do a rundown of some of the audio warning systems that are present on the Boeing 737 series airplanes. First one we'll start off with is the uh, something called the Takeoff Configuration Warning System, or uh, for short, Takeoff Warning Horn. If you uh, apply power with your flaps up, your parking brake set, or uh, your spoiler down, it'll make this kind of... Uh, well, that sound. And it pretty much indicates you're not prepared for takeoff. Correcting the things I mentioned will silence the horn and allow you to, conti to uh, continue with the standard departure. Another important one to note that most people have fun pressing is the uh, Ground Proximity Warning System or Jipwis test. This can be found on the co -pilots, uh, under the co-pilot's navigation display. There's a little button that says System Test. Flight slow. Pull up. Pressing it will set off the alarms. Wind shear, wind shear, wind shear. You can see all the terrain, uh, lights terrain. come on, like pull, pull up, up and uh, below glide slope. Think rate. Here. Pull up. It's uh, the terrain. Don't think. Too low. Definitely terrain. uh, a good system Too to low. test. Gear. Too low. Flat. Has somewhat of a lengthy Light. uh, audio Bank angle. Bank angle. playlist though. And then you'll see after a little while the lights will go out, but they'll stay illuminated for a little while after the sound stop maybe 30 seconds or so. Some other uh, noteworthy ones to test are the stall and overspeed tests. And these can be found on the uh, back of the aft overhead panel on the very right side under the flight recorder. See it's mock overspeed. This is just an audio test and checks that the overspeed warning will go off when it's supposed to. Though in the sim, that sound playing does not necessarily indicate the overspeed warning will work. However, it does in a real aircraft. You also have your stall test. Though that sounds weird, that's actually the sound of the yoke shaking, which is what the stall warning actually is on Boeing aircraft, usually. That's uh, for the 737 it is, anyway. You'll notice you have two of these buttons, it just checks the co-pilots and captain's versions. One is obviously captain, two is the co-pilot. Uh, two other important systems are the fire test, which can be found on the throttle console, or uh, under the throttle, rather, on the... We've below the parking brake lever and on the top of the center console. There's a little switch that says test under the, uh, to the left of the uh, big red one switch, which is the fire dispenser for engine one. Press this to the right. Or, yeah, to the right, sorry. You'll see all the fire warnings come up. The fire warning light going. Just click that to silence the bell. This just checks the fire detection and prevention system. There's also another button under that that shows uh, test. This is to test the cargo fire. You'll find it in under the APU warning light. The APU uh, fire light. It's a little place, a little switch that says test. And then one final test for today will be the TCAS test. And you'll find this on the transponder panel, literally about an inch under the fire test switch for the cargo. You press this to test, you'll see the transponder switch to 8888, and your TCAS test come up on your main display here. You'll see you can uh, adjust your range. TCAS system test OK. And providing everything is set right, you'll get your TCAS OK. However, if your IRS is not aligned, uh, your initial reference system, uh, it will fail. That about sums it up for today's quick little audio warning system, so thanks for watching. Come back to you again real soon.